probably tell. The mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get Bring set it. to take over. tackled at the 23 after a gain of three three yards the gain there second down well they were unable to make anything really big out of that but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward almost as bread and butter is a good running back dive play looking to throw again on second down murray he gets it into the hands of larry fitzgerald and they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot <laughs> cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another nice game, 13 yards that time and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now from Murray. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. To throw again on second down. Murray eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. They'll set up the screen to Drake. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, good job defensively to recover. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. He's got his man. It's caught him Zone touchdown Arizona. Max Williams there to make the grab. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing.
set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the okay. 20. Here and now go. Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. From the 22, Prescott. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Charles, already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Jordan Phillips in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go. There is a hush indeed. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 22 and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On second down, it's Drake. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third and two, and here's Murray. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. On first and goal, Drake. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. 
A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. begin by running the option and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line a quick first down pickup good start after going three and out on their opening drive I have to admit I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic abandon the playbook and just start firing the ball all over the place it's way too early for that stick to what works for you down double digits and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there you're right they're sticking to the game plan getting the ground game going a lot of football left to be played so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 they keep on the ground with Elliott and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Elliott. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From just shy of midfield, Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 36. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Elliott. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. 
Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. And that one makes it 14-7. the touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in, and it makes it hard to defend. Now here's a first down throw that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Murray a give. This is Drake. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now a draw play with Drake. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Here's Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. On first down, Drake. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Second and ten. Third 
from the gun, Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Drake. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. That is caught at the seven-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Now Murray again, buying time to his left. And he's gonna keep it here. The Cardinals gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Out of the gun, here's Murray on the move to his left. He can run, and he is in oh, yeah. the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A five-yard touchdown run, and the Cardinals will extend their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is Tony Pollard. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Now Pollard. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. No game there on the completion second and ten well they brought the pressure and that meant man coverage behind him so he's still able to complete the pass even as he took the hit and that's what you have to do because I was just talking with a coach the other day and he said look it's not always going to be pretty back there you're going to have to give me completions even when you're taking some hits sometimes you have to be your own blitz control for lack of a better term got to make completions step up and make those throws and he did that the Cowboys going to use their second Let's timeout go, now as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. A first down throw for Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Now Greg Zerline. We all remember the 57-yarder that sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over at the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the gun, it's Drake. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Now Pollard. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because... As the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. 
Prescott's throw going to be caught by Gallup. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Prescott throwing middle, but it's incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and it's third and short. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. To the air again, Prescott. Throw left side complete. It's Schultz. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described. And he was able to do just that. Pass on target. Prescott to Cooper. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Prescott yet again. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And again, it's Prescott. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Second down, Murray sliding out of the... Murray fighting, lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20, and down to the 16-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 
From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second and goal. Prescott now. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine yard line. The linebacker, Jordan Hicks, flying in there for the sack. Second goal. Last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Prescott from the gun. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The football going back over to Arizona now. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? when they only gave up the field yeah. goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield punch in the end zone without turning it over an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. to throw again Murray and he's got his man out of the backfield that's complete and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27 they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up he felt the pressure coming there that was a good job of just making something out of nothing so to speak yeah it took the hit and still made the play you know when we talk about runners all right and on running plays Runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Schultz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. <laughs> 
first down, Prescott. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 21. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. After the turnover, here's Murray. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Now Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. <laughs> Prescott looks to throw on first. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Second and six, just inside the 30. Going to run the sweep here. This is Hopkins. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. Shotgun now from Murray. And that is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Here's Andy Lee now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter.
And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Buda Baker with a pick. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now Dallas gets set oh, yeah, to take the field. Job, and you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Back to it after the pick six. Prescott over the middle complete. That's Schultz. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, Prescott. And this is incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Prescott on first down. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. 
They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Marcus Golden showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Cowboys on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 14. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long soak in a hot tub you after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And this is going to be incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. From the gun, Murray. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. They'll run on first down. It's Drake, and he's got this one across Stop, midfield get up, get up. into Cowboy territory. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Right back to Drake. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third and short, Drake. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Here's the veteran punter, Lee, as he sends this one away. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, 
Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.